Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Spiral Knights. I've ta taken the liberty of running back to the shop so you don't have to watch me glide all over the place with out without any idea of how to get at and stop gliding all over the place. At this point I am a little of a sword nut so I think I'm going to buy some armor which increases my attack bonus. As luck would have it, I started with I have obtained exactly 300 crowns. I think I'm going to have a mining hat as well that has a lot of defense. Defense. Anyway, we have mining hat. It's equipped as helmet. Ah, this means that once you equip something, you will not be able to trade it. You can still sell it. However, it's a lot less than what it would be if you didn't wear it. It's essentially second hand once you, once you equip it. I don't know the, the exact reasoning for this. It may be because you can make stuff for your friends, then give it to them. But that kind of spoils the point of an RPG. Hmm. Okay, I have a mining hat and I have a fencing jacket. Just to demonstrate what I was explaining earlier. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, because I have... I. How do I do that? I haven't been able to do that on my character. I've always had to wear this. I've always had to buy a second one. Maybe I've been a fool. But, I was about to say, I could have a different thing. However, that looks pretty awesome. I have exact... I am now completely broke. Uh-uh, no breaking. Actually, this seems to be a lot better now. Maybe giving it that extra half an hour has paid off. What's my ob objective? Explore. Define explore. Let's go to training area two. Have I just been to training area two? Uh, here comes my short term memory loss. Uh, hmm. Don't actually have short term memory loss, but I have a short attention span. Um, hmm. How many videos has this been? It's three. No, it's been four, including the lag-filled one. So I've had the starting area, exploring a town that broke, that, and then this. So yeah, I apologise if I have missed out a level. I'll go back and check after, just so you don't miss anything. However, I'm going to not risk it and just play the level I know I haven't done. Use a shield to block completely. I wonder what powers it, because you hold the shield in front of you, yet you have this 360 degree dome around you. Let's begin with my new found items. Let's go steal a Vitapod. Yes, I get that. Yeah, these don't leave you alone until you get out of the training area. At least the elevators here are half price. Ooh, that's interesting to note. Af, um, this game is quite odd, as in, if I make a new character, it doesn't give me more energy. What I mean by that is you share energy between characters, so if you run out for your day, you, run, you are not able to play on any of them which means there's no switching of energy which is actually a good thing because otherwise people would exploit it, delete a character create a character, give energy, delete character however I can see some problems coming from this for instance what's the point in creating a second character if they're limited by the exact same restraints you are I've explained charge attacks
I'll go through the control uh, in a while. Just not now. I've been rambling a little, so I might have to cut this video short after this. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, we've got Treebeard. That's not his name before any people who've played this tell me. Yeah, I should stop. Just. The way to take him out is to lich. is to wait until he strikes, then hit him behind his back. I'll demonstrate again when there appears to be one. You need to die. I haven't actually noticed anything new happening. My damage bonus doesn't seem to be doing anything. Hmm, I'm a little annoyed with that actually. The server the new server update has made it so if I attack I have a red colour instead of actually seeing how much the number of the damage I do. Which I appreciate allows you to not go on about numbers all the time, but how am I supposed to tell if a weapon is doing more damage to them? Or am I supposed to just guess? I could be doing really terrible. Hmm. I might show you my actual character once I've gotten out of the training area. Because I don't there this is an online MMO. It's not it's not really possible to let's play. This works because this is a training area. It's a nice introduction. These destroy every block associated with them. Like these blocks are destructible. This block is not. However, this doesn't g care. Uh, this does that block does not discriminate and just destroys everything. Oh look, it's teasing you. The game is teasing you because as soon as I hit this, I'm going to be swarmed. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not liking that. I don't. I hope that isn't in the new release. Well, this game is actually very close to its release, which is April first. I hope that no, but this doesn't carry on because I like seeing the numbers. Hmm. If I remember correctly, the switch is. Okay, my memory sucks. There we go. Hmm. Got about a minute left of the video. It's actually surprising how quickly you go through this game. It's one of those time wasters. Okay. You can pick up jars, they can be thrown. This is a switch. If you didn't have a gun, this just allows you to not get stuck in a level. I don't think the game developers would be that mean. Incidentally, this game is created by a development, an independent development company called Three Rings and is produced by Sega. Now, Three Rings have been developing new worlds for games for quite a while now. It's not exactly the longest running company, but they have uh, some notable games. Oh, here's another gameplay bonus. Gold key, gold door open. Okay, this is the last area. I'm going to cut the video off here because I obviously do not have time. So I'll see you next time, folks, for the grand finale of the training area. See you then.